down hey what's going on guys i'm gonna show you guys the setup that i'm using here in a little while to record this video um i'm switching back over to my gopro i've been using a phone i've been using other not so good cameras i've been using gopros i've been using a little bit of everything to thought that wasn't going to start for a second to film these videos for you guys and um it just became a huge pain in the butt the other day sorry i know it's moving a lot it just became a huge pain in the butt the other day we had a little birthday party we had a little get together we had all these things and i was carrying camera bags and i was carrying gimbals and drones and i was just carrying so many things to try to record i was able to enjoy myself and have a good time but it was just like i had to keep up with so much equipment like i need this i need that i need this and i wanted to get back to minimalistic style recording when i first started the channel you know what first got me wanting to record now of course i wanted to get better i wanted to advance and we're going to continue to do that but as far as like these daily vlogs well weekly vlog videos where it's just me and you guys talking i think we're going to go back to this very minimalistic style of recording so i'm on my way right now so real quick i'm on my way to go pick up some food for me and my wife i went and bought some tail lights online for my truck because one of my tail lights went out i bought it no issues um, bought them online well i say no issues when i bought them when they got here i put them in they were these super bright leds which were awesome but the blinker function didn't work on the lights so if you can hear how fast that blinker is going i don't know if you can hear that that's what it was doing it was going too fast because the blinker was not working so then i was like okay well that's not gonna work i went to AutoZone. i went and bought some other lights that were supposed to be fully functional working no issues i bought them yesterday put them in it was really boring i wasn't going to record and i had the hazards everything on and they showed to be blinking just fine right now i have my blinker on and they're blinking fast again indicating that my blink both blinkers aren't working so i'm having issues i'm gonna have to go back to the store and buy more blinkers until we figure this dang issue out so i'm gonna go get some food and then i'll get back with you guys it's that time again where it's spring got the chickens a new pool what's the trash back there we got the chickens new pools so they can drink water out of and then a lot more feed so we gotta get all that feed and the feeder give me a second back there last time I did a video I was going to the vet for my chocolate lab to get her shots done now we're going back to the vet because my little French Bulldog he's about to be I think he's about to be nine or he is nine I don't know something like that anyways yeah I think he is nine but anyways um, he's about to be ten this year but he's got a little growth on the inside of his leg and I'll try to take a video of it. If I can't, then I'll, I'll throw in the pictures that I took the first day. I took those pictures just to make sure I could monitor it. Um, I found it yesterday. I wanted to be able to monitor it today when I woke up and check on him just to make sure that the growth wasn't growing. It wasn't getting any, any bigger. So we're going to come in here right now and hopefully find out 
what this is and what we can do to fix it. Max just had surgery like a year ago, like I said, and he, he does not like being in here. Come on. He's just really watching the door, paying attention to see when somebody's about to come in. Stay waiting. So it's the next day. Sorry, I just realized that I didn't record a video when I left the vet yesterday because I was calling my wife to let her know what the vet said. So Max, has a growth on the inside of his leg. There's actually two, one bigger one, one smaller one. Um, as of right now, it looks like it's just an infection. Unsure where he got it from, but they did a bunch of lab work. They did blood testing and they did slides and they did all this other stuff. Um, a little bit expensive, but like I said in the last video, I really care about my dog, so I wanted to make sure that it gets checked out. So as far as right now, they got him on steroids, antibiotics, some other stuff, vitamins, stuff like that. And we're going to try that for the next 10 days to ensure that there's nothing wrong as far as it being an actual tumor and hopefully it's not cancerous. So there's a 20% chance as far as what they said is right now of it being cancerous, but we're, we're just being hopeful at this point and just kind of hoping that that's not the case. So it is what it is for right now. That's where we're at with Max. So yeah, I mean... That's, that's really all, all I can say about that is I'm, I'm just hoping that it's not worse than what it, you know we're suspecting it is but we won't know for another like eight days or so when we go back they'll do a follow-up and check to see if this medication is doing anything to help his cause so we'll see what happens sorry about all the wind noise so I'm out here uh, about to climb on the back of this truck real quick ah. So some of you may have noticed this in some of my videos. My thin blue line sticker has been on here for like three and a half years, almost four years now. But it's bubbling and peeling really bad here. And I was gonna redo it, but I figured it was time for a change. So give me a second, we're gonna peel this off and then you guys will see what I'm putting on there. in here so from inside the truck you can see obviously my cowboy hat things in the way I'm gonna take that off but you can see the wolf head from the inside which is kind of cool but you just can't see from the outside so probably gonna change it so kind of finishing up this video has been all over the place and I get that but I wanted to show you guys I said in the beginning of the video I was gonna show y'all my little recording setup so this is what I'm using right now very small tripod it's the uh, Hero 5 Session with a Rode mic on top. Right now I'm recording this part on a phone just so I can show you guys um, what I'm gonna be using as far as future videos, stuff like that. Um, that's how small it is for package. Kind of a cool little deal. My little dog is doing good. He seems to be getting better. So we'll see as time goes on. Like I said, we have to go at the end of the week to go back to the vet and they'll let us know. I've been in class right now, so that's why I haven't done a lot of recording throughout the day. I just get home, record real quick what I can, and then do what I gotta do for the day. The other thing I wanna let you guys know is that I started up a second YouTube channel. All the videos like this one that you're watching are going to now be on the new channel. I just gotta finish finalizing some things on that channel. My little dog's licking me. I gotta finish finalizing some things on that channel before that one 100% goes live. But right now there are 64 videos from this channel moved over to that channel all the vlogging stuff eventually i'm going to take the vlog stuff off of this channel and this one's going to be more of like my tactical talks and more tactical style videos anything that has guns in it stuff like that the other one will be just vlog stuff just in case in the future youtube decides that they want to start removing gun content i don't want them to remove 
this channel and then I lose all the vlog stuff. So go check out the other channel. It's in the link, the first link in the description. The channel is called Vlogging It All. Um, like I said, I think that was going to be pretty cool. It's going to be a lot more vlogging style videos like this. This one will be more tactical slash gun stuff. And then I'll keep you guys updated on what we have going on. So thank you guys for watching. Me and the puppy. We'll see you on the next one.